The transmission, or gearbox, as it's known, is an integral part of the chassis of an Indy car. Now, what I mean by that is the front part of the casting is bolted through a bell housing to the engine, and you physically bolt your suspension to the case itself, along with the rear wing and attenuator. Now, you typically can see the gearbox at the back of an Indy car, but what you can't normally see is this cutaway version of the inner workings. So let's follow the power flow. As it rotates, it drives an oil pump, and the oil is scavenged off the bottom through this filter and to the pump itself. And when you follow the power flow across what's known as a lay shaft, that turns the gear sets. First gear would be here, sixth gear there. And the difference would be similar to bicycle sprockets. Think of this as your front chain ring, this as your rear. That would be a lower, in this case, a second gear. For a six gear, you're gonna have a much closer to one to one ratio driving the higher speeds. Once you have established your gear ratio, this is now going to be an engine orientation. It goes through a bevel gear set that now turns it 90 degrees to axle orientation. That is done through what's known as the final drive. There are seven different ratios you can choose for the final drive and this is set up in speedway configuration, meaning that the two axles are locked together. If you're running on a road or street course, you put in what's known as a differential, which unlocks anytime you go through a really tight corner, it unlocks the inside axle under deceleration. You may notice that this is serial number 100, and x -Track has been the sole supplier of IndyCar gearboxes since the year 2000, but this is the 100th gearbox produced for the new car. Hence, the cutaway version which was presented to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum on the 100th running of the Indy 500. And what's amazing is with all this meat and this gear set that can handle 750 horsepower, these things can shift lightning fast. And that's done with air pressure. There's a solenoid that's activated when the driver hits the paddle on the steering wheel and that rotates this shifting barrel. As each shift is done, you can see these forks move out of one and into the other. And amazingly, that whole process can take place in only 15 to 20 milliseconds.